Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. If you are not a big fan of an antivirus called Avast or Avast 1, then say no more. Pretty much what we're going to be doing is to show you how to uninstall Avast in Windows 11. This is pretty much going to be a simplified version. Now, if this issue does not work here, then we're going to show a different route of how to use the removal tool and technically going to safe mode and technically creating another administrative account just in case something doesn't let you sign back into when you go into safe mode but that is another video later on for this time this is pretty much just a basic how to uninstall avast in windows 11 so let's go ahead and get started so to get here simple you can go to settings and everything i can show you to this you can go to settings and then pretty much go to apps and then go to apps and features or to make this a lot easy for a future way. So on the start menu, you would right click on it and select apps and features and it takes us to the same location too. It's just a simple route. And what you're gonna look for is once it loads up, you're gonna look for the program called Advanced One. Now, depending on this layout, I know mine is right now on the three dots on the right side. It might change or might've already happened on Windows 11, but this is what mine is currently showing. Regardless, you're gonna go ahead and select it and select uninstall and the, pretty much this pop-up will come up saying that this app and its related info will be uninstalled go ahead and click the uninstall button and then you will probably be prompted on this go ahead and press yes and then here's the program now technically i really don't need this um, app some features for display anymore so i'm just going to show you that there's just the best there and there's the repair and there's the uninstall just go ahead and select uninstall I'm just going to tell you, do you want to try a free month? Because, you know, they want to make some little profit from you. Don't. Just pretty much press continue and uninstall. And I'll pretty much an attempt, it'll pretty much come up and I'll pretty much there's an attempt made to uninstall Vast. It's pretty much asking if you're, if, if you're getting permission for this. I'm not going to read this whole text. You get the point. Do you want to continue? Yes. And now it's pretty much uninstalling the product. Now, right now, it's pretty much time if you want to do a survey, if you want to sign up for an interview, you can get some money, blah, blah, blah. It's up to you. But all we're doing is letting this program to uninstall. On this right-down corner, we just got a pop-up saying that Windows Security came up, that your virus protection just got changed. Pretty much, it's turned on. It's now pretty much using the Windows Security that comes with Windows 11 already. So it's kind of necessary why you have an antivirus like a vest on there. Maybe it could have been that got installed from, I don't know, a different program that you installed and it came as a add to get it installed too again another pop comes up but we don't really care about that. that should fix itself and it says that a vast one is pretty much uninstalled so i'm gonna go ahead and just restart this computer and then we're gonna check through folders and also go to programs and stuff and see if this program's there but let me go ahead and restart and see what happens Alrighty, so pretty much windows is logging in right now and here it is, pretty much it's up. And give it a few more seconds just to make sure there's any other programs coming up. But I think we're pretty much good. Oh, there they are, the icons are coming up. Okay, so pretty much good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the icon on the right down corner and see there's Windows Security. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down. Let's go ahead and tap it and see what it's prompting. This, if you want to turn on the browser control, turn that on, press yes. And if you want to sign in for account, I'm going to press this. So now pretty much Windows security is perfectly fine. It might already been perfectly fine for yours, but this is what mine's showing. So we have pretty much Windows um, security back on there. It's pretty much was on there already, but that was pretty much we had a vast. So right now, if we come to here, I don't really see anything on the icon on desktop. I'm going to go to the start menu. I don't see any list. Let's go to all apps and I don't see a vast in this list at all. Let's go to programs and features. I don't mind I'm going to that. I'm going to wrong location. We're pretty much going to go to apps and features. And then pretty much we're going to load up. And I don't see a vast in here anymore. Let's go ahead and check a few other locations. If there is any folders left, I'm pretty much going to this PC. Now, technically, you don't have you may not have it on the desktop. So if you go to explore, you're pretty much get to this location. Go ahead and expand it. And then go to this PC. And then your C drive, depending if your computer should be that and from there we're going to go to programs i don't see anything called avast in this list at all i'm going to go to program files x86 and i don't see it either now there's a hidden one underneath so i pretty much click the top i see there's three colon slash all we're going to do is go type in program data 
and I do see a folder on there. So technically, let's make this easy for you. If it's not shown and you don't see the folder called Program Data, go to View, not View. We're gonna go to three dots, and somewhere here they should have something that says Show Hidden, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to Properties. No, not this properties, not on this. Let's go to regular here. And you might just need to go to options. Let's see if it's in there. There we are. We're going to options. And then from there, we're pretty much going to go to view. And we're going to see something called show hidden files and folders. I'm going to see if there's anything else. Known files types. I think that's what we're really pretty much caring about is folders. So I'll press apply. And there's the folder called program data. So there it is, program data. So in case you could just type it, you can just get to the folder. See program data, and there's a folder called Avast Software. There's stuff from it from last installation. All we're gonna do is pretty much press delete. And now it's pretty much gone. Now we're pretty much done also from changing the view, from showing the hidden folders. So you can go back to three dots and select it, and you can go to view, and you can pretty much restore the defaults or just move that sources. Don't show hidden files and press apply and okay. So now when I pretty much go back to C drive, it looks kind of normal again. And pretty much from there, we're gonna go to recycle bam and be sure that this is empty. Oh, it just prompted right there and press continue. And it's gonna tell you this to no longer recycle bam. It's prompting me multiple times. I'm gonna go ahead and press them. Do not show this anymore. It would just be dumb. Okay, I'm gonna press skip. This is getting a glitch on the recycle bin. The recycle bin is actually literally empty. It's it's gone. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.